In central Vietnam, nearly 40,000 square miles of sharp slopes and rugged mountains are some 10,000 square miles of flat farmland. Of it, none is more important than the central highlands. The communist general Gyap has said, to seize and control the highlands is to solve the whole problem of South Vietnam. It is a region which has been the object of the furious and incessant communist attacks. Today, however, American help in planning Vietnamese counteroffensives and an intensive program of psychological warfare to win the peasants has begun to slow the communist momentum. Americans are teaching both Vietnamese soldiers and volunteers from the villages techniques for patrolling surrounding jungles, flushing out the Viet Cong guerrillas before they can mount an attack. In the jungles of Vietnam, guerrillas do not depend entirely on smuggled or stolen weapons. Using local materials and primitive traps, they can make life extremely dangerous for the unwary traveler. Vietnamese and American advisors have initiated a vast program of relocation, moving isolated tribes into specially constructed and protected strategic villages. The arguments are strong enough, for the defenseless fall easy prey to communist terrorism. In the strategic villages, houses are enclosed by bamboo spikes and fields are cultivated under the protective eyes of armed colleagues. Such methods deter the communists from attack and make infiltration extremely difficult. These newcomers are being trained by teams of Vietnamese and Americans, both military and civilian, to both rule and defend themselves. As the word spreads, thousands of these mountain people come down voluntarily. They burn their old houses and bring with them their livestock and personal belongings because they are tired of Viet Cong extortion. Today, even a number of Viet Cong guerrillas, originally dragooned from the peasantry, have deserted and returned after learning that their homes are now secure against guerrilla terrorism. But security alone is not enough. The people must also have something to live for, some expectation of a better life. So American advisors and the American trained Vietnamese civic action teams are also involved in teaching such matters as hygiene and providing basic medical care.